happy class. Let's stand and salute the flag. The flag. Say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, who would like to say our prayer today? Craig. Uh, Lord, thank you for this day, and thank you for letting us come here and learn about you and uh, your word. Hey, what's Lord. going on here? Who are who you, and what do you want? I represent the world and its feelings, and I say to you, take down those commandments, get rid of that Bible, and I forbid you to pray in this room again. Who says so? I say so. I represent a minority, and we're going to change the way things are done around here. And there's no room for this nonsense. No room. My wife, she's pregnant, and we need to have a place to lay down. There's no room here. No room at all. Yes? Why are you knocking on my door when this woman needs to be laying down? She looks like she's ready to have that baby any minute. She is, but we've been searching all over, and we have no place that we can go. Do you have a place we can lay down? All the rooms are full. I'm sorry. This time in Bethlehem, are you here to pay your taxes? That's why all the rooms are full. I'm sorry, we have no room. What am I supposed to do? What, what can I do? She needs to lay down. Wait a minute. I have a manger out back. It has soft hay and it's clean. And you're welcome to stay there because there's no rooms this time of the year in Bethlehem. I'm sorry. Uh, but mind you, the animals are there also. That's fine. You'll Thank have you. To it's stay very kind. We'll take the manger. You'll have to stay with the animals. That's fine. Thank okay, you. Come this way, please.
Did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you've delivered would soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm with his hand? Did you know? Your baby boy has walked where angels trod, and when you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. The blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak. lawns and so forth. There is just no room for such things in the heart of a sin-sick world. It's just like Joseph and Mary when they went to Bethlehem to pay their taxes. Mary was great with child and needed so badly to have a place to give birth to the Christ child. All they heard was no room. Then one of the innkeepers told them they had a manger where they could stay. This was prophecy fulfilled for Isaiah told that Jesus would be born in a lowly manger. 
the King of King and Lord of Lords would arrive in the hay. Not a very regal birthplace, but that is who our Lord is. He came to save us from our sins and not to look down on us. Baby Jesus arrived in humble surroundings, but he was accompanied by a host of angels proclaiming his birth to the lowly shepherds. What an astounding sight that was, and it scared these young men, but they knew they had to investigate what the angels said. And they went immediately to the place where Jesus lay, and they worshipped him. They had room in their hearts to know it was the long-awaited Messiah. Later, wise men from the east followed his star, and they too worshipped him, having room in their hearts for this child king. They gave him precious gifts, honoring the child who was a king greater than any other. When King Herod heard that a king had been born, he had no room for this child, so in order to take care of the situation, he ordered all boy children to and under to be destroyed. Jealousy destroyed Herod, a heart devoid of love for the Christ child. Jesus survived by the will of God, telling his parents to flee with him. Later he would return to his homeland and grow up there to be a man on a mission. He collected a crew of 12 men, not great famous men, but ordinary men like all of us. He preached a new sermon of love and hope, a new way in life for an underprivileged people and also for those in high places. Many responded to the call of Christ and followed him, but many had no room for him in their hearts. At the young age of 33, they hanged him on a cross to die because there was no room for him in their way of life. He didn't stay dead. God brought him out of the tomb, and he walked this earth for a few more days and then went back home to his father God, where he rules and reigns to this day. He is coming back, but this time it will not be a lowly arrival. He's coming back as Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and he's going to take his church back home with him to heaven. I wonder, do you have room to house Jesus in your heart? Or is he knocking and the answer is still no room? He won't wait forever for you to make up your mind because when he comes back, it will be just for those who have room for him. There is a little song that says, you must open the door, you must open the door. When Jesus comes in, he will save you from sin, but you must open the door. The congregation sings joy to the world. <laughs> 